Hi students in last class we discussed about physical and chemical changes in this class we will discuss about chemical reaction and types of chemical reactions any change that involves chemical changes is called chemical reaction a change which involves chemical changes is called chemical reaction in a chemical reaction chemical change takes place the representation of chemical reaction in the form of formula of reactants and products separated by an arrow mark is called chemical equation chemical reaction can be represented in the form of formula of reactants and products separated by an arrow mark that is the chemical equation the description of a chemical reaction in a sentence is a quite long it can be written in short form as a word equation also description of chemical reaction in a sentence is a quite long so we can express in short form as a word equation word equation a chemical equation expressed in words rather than chemical formulas is called word equation if it is expressed in words it is word equation if it is expressed in formulas then it is called chemical equation example hydrogen gas react with oxygen gas to form steam this is the word equation if you write formulas that is chemical equation two moles of hydrogen react with one mole of oxygen to form two moles of water or steam this is the chemical equation if you write them in word it is word equation reactants and products the substances which undergo chemical change in the reaction are called reactants substances which undergo chemical change in the reaction are called reactants and the new substances are formed as known as products new substances formed in the chemical reaction are known as products example zinc react with hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride plus hydrogen here zinc and hydrochloric acid are involved in reaction so they are called reactants and zinc chloride and hydrogen are formed in the reaction so they are called products reactants products skeleton equation unbalanced chemical equation containing molecular formula of the substance is known as a skeleton equation unbalanced chemical equation containing molecular formulas of the substance is called skeleton equation writing a chemical equation now we will discuss writing a chemical equation a chemical reaction written in the formula shows the changes of reactants and products by an arrow placed between them reactants and products are separated by arrow the reactants are written on the left side of the arrow and products are written on the right side of the arrow reactant should be always written on the left side and product should be written on the right side of the arrow the arrow head points toward the products and show the direction of reaction arrow head points toward the products and it shows the direction of reaction arrow head represent the direction of reaction if there are more than one reactants or products they are separated with plus sign between them there are more than one reactants or products they are separated by plus sign between them
Now we will discuss types of chemical reactions. We will discuss types of chemical reactions. First one is chemical combination. A reaction in which two or more reactants combine to form a single product is known as chemical combination. In chemical combination, two or more reactants combine to form single product. For example, hydrogen and oxygen combine to form water. Carbon and oxygen combine to form carbon dioxide. In chemical combination, two or more reactants combine to form single product. Second one, chemical decomposition. A reaction in which single substance decomposes to give two or more substances is known as chemical decomposition. In chemical decomposition, a single substance decomposes to form two or more substances, two or more products. For example, calcium carbonate decomposes to form calcium oxide and carbon dioxide. Here, one substance decomposes to two substances. And another example, lead nitrate on heating, it decomposes to lead oxide, nitrogen dioxide and oxygen. Here, one substance decomposes to form three substances. Next one, third one is chemical displacement. A reaction in which atom or ion displaces another atom or ion from its compound is called chemical displacement reaction. In chemical displacement reaction, strong atom or strong ion will displace the weak atom or weak ion from its compound. Zinc react with hydrochloric acid to form zinc chloride and hydrogen gas. Here, compared to hydrogen, zinc is the stronger one. So, zinc displaces hydrogen from hydrogen chloride to form zinc chloride. And another example, iron react with copper sulphate to form iron sulphate and copper. Compared to copper, iron is strong metal. So, Iron displaces copper from copper sulphate to form iron sulphate. This is the chemical displacement. Last one, double displacement reaction. A reaction in which mutual exchange of ions takes place is called double displacement reaction. In double displacement reaction, mutual exchange of ions takes place. For example, sodium sulphate react with barium chloride to form sodium chloride and barium sulphate. In this reaction, mutual exchange of ions takes place. We will see another example. Potassium hydroxide react with phosphoric acid to form potassium phosphate and water. In this reaction also, mutual exchange of ions takes place. These are the example for chemical double displacement. Now we will see types of thermal reactions. There are two types of thermal reactions. First one is exothermic reaction. The reaction in which heat energy releases is called exothermic reaction. The reaction in which heat energy releases. Exo means outside. In exothermic reaction, heat energy releases. For example, carbon react with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and release heat energy. Here, capital Q represent heat energy. And we will see another example. Calcium oxide react with water to form calcium hydroxide. In this reaction also, heat energy releases. Endothermic reaction. The reaction in which the heat energy is absorbed into the reaction is known as endothermic reaction. In endothermic reaction, heat energy is absorbed. For example, N2 plus O2 by absorbing heat gives rise nitrogen monoxide. 
you can write same equation as N2 plus O2 gives rise nitrogen monoxide minus Q. If you transport plus Q from reactants to products, it will become minus Q. In the products, if it is plus Q, it is exothermic reaction. If it is minus Q, it is endothermic reaction. CaCO3 on heating, it will form carbon dioxide. Calcium carbonate on heating, carbon dioxide and water. Here, triangle symbol represent on heating by giving heat. Here also, heat energy is observed. Q is the heat energy which is shown with plus sign on product side for exothermic reaction. For exothermic reaction, it is shown with plus sign on product side. And for endothermic reaction, it is shown with minus sign on product side. Or plus sign on reactant side. We will see one previous public examination question. Comment on nitrogen react with oxygen by observing heat to form nitrogen monoxide equation. This question is given in public examination March 2015. By observing this equation, we have to comment. What are our observations? The reaction between nitrogen and oxygen to form nitrogen monoxide is endothermic reaction. It is endothermic reaction because heat is observed in the reaction. Next one. This is example for chemical combination. Here, two products combine to form single product. So, it is example for chemical combination. In this reaction, both reactants and products are gases. Students, all of you write notes. Prepare well.